Salutations and welcome back to another video of how to be awesome as a new player in City of Heroes, Homecoming. I uh, forgot to mention this last video, but all my advice is for Homecoming. This advice, particularly this video about the auction house, is definitely Homecoming specific. The rules are different if you go to other private servers and whatnot. But since Homecoming has the official NCSoft license, that is what we're going to focus on. That is what we're going to use today. So today we're going to talk about how to make money, uh, good money on the auction house. Uh, there's a couple of different ways to go about this. I'm going to share what I do, but there are other ways to do this. This is not the only way. I'm not even arguing this is the best way, but I will tell you this has been lucrative for me. You do you. Okay, so. One of the things that you will get when you're adventuring at times are recipes. Uh, mentioned on the last video, you can create IOs, and when you're doing normal invention origins, the you can buy the recipes right there. Now I've got some IO recipes; they're lower level. I'll go ahead and sell those um, to a vendor or something like that because I don't like the lower level um, IOs, but they they're there. But occasionally you'll get more rare recipes, you'll get set recipes, and those are usually yellow or orange, and they're in a separate section here at the top. That, so you'll get those sometimes as drops from enemies. You can also buy them on the auction house. Uh, this Quickfoot Endurance, I went ahead and bought that off the auction house right here for $25,000, a uh, pretty cheap price for a, a set recipe and whatnot. Now, the set recipes, you, you you can buy them, of course, if you want to have these abilities for your characters and you want to create them and put them in. Uh, I don't. I usually just use straight um, IOs on my characters that are leveling up. Uh, but again, you do you. But I do like to make money with these types of things. So if you get a recipe um, on here, uh, my advice is you could take the recipe, you can sell the recipe. So I can take this Basilisk Gaze recipe, I can drag it over to the auction house, I can find out what it sells for, hit find, and if I, I'll just wait for that. Sometimes you'd hit find a few times before it'll come up. And you can see some people pay 250, some people only pay 25,000 for this recipe. Um, and you could sell the recipe directly. Some of these recipes aren't worth very, very much at all. If it's worth a lot and you want to sell it, you go ahead. But like Quickfoot here, uh, it's not worth very much at all if I try to sell it. I'm much better off turning this into an item and selling the item. So if you hit, first you want to make sure you have all the ingredients. Uh, it'll be red if you don't, and you can buy those ingredients off the auction house. Um, otherwise, go ahead and hit Create. And we're going to create that 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 uh, that doodad right there, and it's going to show up right here, my empty slot here, my enhancements. Now, if I try to sell the created item, okay, this item is worth two to three hundred thousand, and the recipe only cost me twenty-five thousand, and it takes pretty cheap parts. So I would say my total investment is thirty thousand. I could turn around and sell this and make a few hundred thousand, but that's not where the big money's at. You can do that, but it's not a great use of time. We're going to get that. What we're going to do is we're going to convert it to a different type. Uh, to convert it, you do need converters. Um, and that's a special salvage that you can buy with your merits. Now, I don't have any converters. They would show up here. There's two ways to get converters. One is we could buy them from the auction house. And the other one is if you do have reward merits, you might remember we buy converters with reward merits and we usually sell them for cold, hard cash. So we can go ahead and, and buy uh, converters if we want with merits. And that's a perfectly valid way to get them. Um, Either way, they cost you about the same in terms of opportunity cost. Luckily, if you're in the university here in Steel City, there is a merit vendor right over here. Let's just take a right outside the door, fly it, or jump up over here, and you got a merit vendor right here. And we're going to get some converters, enhancement converters. Uh, and we're going to buy a bunch of these. Uh, I, I got plenty of reward merits, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy like 30 of them. I'm going to go back to the research facility because I might need to craft some stuff in the future. I usually like to do my work in here. I'll come back in there. It's a quick little flyover. I like to be cozy up next to a desk here. Uh, turn off my flight. Okay. 
So to convert, we're going to convert this to another type and hope it is worth more money. To do this, we're going to press the convert button right down here. That's going to bring this up. And if you bring this guy over to here, it's going to say, OK, if you want to convert this inset, you got to pay three of those conversion thingies. Inset means that it's going to these the 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 um, the these types of enhancements come in sets of three or four or five or six, and they have set bonuses if you equip them all to one power. Um, and if you got like five of six and you got a copy of one you've already got, this can be a way to get the one that you need, but that's not what we're going to do here. We're going to do an out of set conversion. We want something completely different because this thing is not worth a lot. And when we do a completely random conversion, it only cost us one of these converters. We go ahead and hit convert. It's going to say, hey, are you sure you want to do this? We're going to hit yes. And we get this new calibrated accuracy one. We're going to clear that and we're going to pull up the auction house and we're going to see if that guy's worth more. Now, remember those converters cost like 70,000, they're valued at 70,000 each. So now I've invested 70 more thousand into this. But if I take this calibrated thing here, we're going to say, okay, that's not really worth that much more. It's only two to 400. So we got a couple of different options here to play the game again. We can roll again and see if we get something better. But you'll notice that that was a yellow. This is a yellow. Yellows, uh, yellows are rare, but they're not worth as much as very rares, which are orange. One of the things you can do to help bump it up into a new rarity is you can pick this little down, tie, down arrow here and you can pick category sniper or whatever the category says. It'll say, now say cost two. It's going to try to pick another. Um, it's going to random, uh, randomly choose another enhancement from the same category. And generally speaking, not all the time, it's a, it's a, it's a gamble. You will get something of an orange quality doing this. So if I hit convert, now I've spent two more. I've now got this power here. It's still a yellow, so I'm not I'm not having a lucky day. We'll see how much it's worth. It's worth next to nothing. Now it helps if you know your sets. I think the sniper set probably isn't a great set to, to show this off on. Oh yeah, I need to get out of sniper. So this time we're gonna just do uh, another uncommon here. We're gonna spend another one and we're gonna get soaring endurance flight. Flight is worth 40, 50,000 worth a little bit more, not really worth a ton, and definitely not worth what we're putting into it so far. So we'll convert that again. This is a gamble. There's times where I roll the first time I get something worth a 5 million right away, and other times where you just spin the wheel and you you feel like you're you're spinning your wheels in the mud. I'm going to do a category slow. This is a slowing item. There's plenty of oranges in slow. So with any luck, this time I'll get an orange. And there we go, pacing of the turtle. That's an orange. If I take a look at the prices for this guy, uh, 500 to 800. So we're getting better, but it's not a breakthrough yet. And we've definitely probably spent that much on converters at this point. But now, since it's an orange, if we roll rarity, we'll get another orange most of the time. And we'll see what we got this time. Impeded swiftness, uh, 450 to 1 million. Not great. We'll roll again. Okay, uh, call of the Sandman, sleep. Sleeps don't go for a lot. Hoping for something like fire or uh, damage. Okay, now this one, 1 million, 1.5 million, 103 bidding, 600 for sale, still not great, but it's getting there. Like we're like, okay, we're getting a little bit closer. Can we get something really good here? That is also not very good. Wow. I'm really kind of burning through these things and just having the worst luck. You know, you do a tutorial video, this is the time where it's just going to get really bad on me and just make me look silly. Uh, okay, finally got one that's worth a, a little bit better. So this is 300 bidding, 154 for sale, and it's going for 1.1, 1.5, 1.1, .1, and 2.0 million and the such. So um, I could probably put this in for like a million and it'll eventually sell if it doesn't sell right away. Now I did spend ooh, 16 converters on that one. So I'm going to just barely break even on that because those are worth 70,000 70, each. I'm probably might even come at a little bit of a loss on that one. Um, 
and uh, look, I already sold for 1.1 million. So I think I just broke even on that one. So that that's kind of sad. We don't like to just break even, but maybe we'll have some better luck next time. Um, there's definitely been times where I make a ton of money off of this. Let's take a look at um, another one. And I don't know where my, there we are. I was going to say, where's my other one at? I need a mutant blood sample for this guy. So mutant blood sample. We'll grab a mutant blood sample here for 2K. Grab that guy real quick. Okay. And we made another one of those little guys there. We're going to convert that right away because we know that's worth next to nothing. So we've used one converter so far. We're going to cross our fingers. Now, look, this time we got very lucky. So this guy has 92 bidders six for sale and there's one million one million two million this is a pretty good deal now i've only spent maybe ten thousand and i did one converter which is worth seventy thousand more and now this is worth a million and that's that's going to be a eight hundred thousand profit uh, if it sells for a million i won't be greedy i'll do seven hundred fifty thousand and post it for that and you know make some quick money on that one now I have another one here. Whoops, that's the wrong button to press. I do have one more here, and this is a well, this is another quick foot. We'll do one more quick foot here. I'll do one more quick foot just to kind of show you how this works. Uh, I'll need another blood sample. Grab that guy, create that guy, and we're going to convert that again, just like before. Convert, and see how much this this conversion's worth. Nightmare accuracy only worth uh, 355. That's not a lot. Uh, that is in the fear category. I think fears have some pretty good oranges in it. So I'm going to try to upgrade it to an orange for two. Uh, did not get lucky. Let's see what we got here. Nope, those are only worth 300,000. Totally not worth it. Enfeebled immobilization range. Not very, very good. Uh, we'll try to upgrade that again. Trap of the Hunter, 43 bids, 222 for sale, worth a uh, worth kind of a million. That might be worth posting for a million and, and probably be a pretty good, decent profit. Though there's 222 of those for sale versus 43 bidders. So I'm going to try just converting that again and see if I can't get something that's a little bit more in demand. Uh, this one has 420 bids, 600 for sale, a little bit more in demand. Price is about the same. I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna pull that lever, and we have a Melise uh, illusion. Some of them sold for 400. Some of them sold for a million. Not really a breakthrough on that one. We'll try this jumping one. See what we can get for jump. Boy, that price is all over the place. 123, 167, 100, 2 million, 2 million. That that one's kind of all over the place. I, I don't I don't know about that one. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it again. Ah, here we go. Impeded swiftness, 70 bidding, 65 for sale, 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 7 million, 2 million. Now, the one thing about setting these prices is the higher the price you put in, the longer you're probably gonna have to wait. And you do need to be patient with selling these things. Let time do its work. Uh, this one has sold several times for two million. It's even sold for three million. And that's happened several times over the last day or two. So I could probably get 2 million. I'm going to go for 1 million, 5, 1.5 million. That would still, now I did spend a good six or seven um, converters on that, which is worth 400,000. Plus, you know, what I put into the recipe and everything. So I spent 500,000 on this. I'm going to triple my money here if I get 1.5, but I will need to be patient. I don't think it'll sell right away. It might, but it probably won't. And you can kind of see here, I've got a couple of these guys in here and they will eventually sell. Uh, last but not least, the last example I have is I do have, uh, if we click on the table here, I do have an orange recipe. Now, a lot of the orange recipes require uh, what's called a rare ingredient. In this case, the Lament Box. Um, the These kind of guys right here, and maybe it would help if I spell, uh, the thing correctly am i not finding it uh doo -doo 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 -doo. there we go these things usually almost always run for four hundred thousand. so 
that's going to cost me that's going to cost me uh, some money plus another thirty seven thousand to craft it. So that's going to that's going to be some money. So there definitely is a question of should I do this or not. Ninety percent of the time you definitely should, because even if you get something that doesn't sell very well out of it, you can convert it to something else. But if you want to do the research, you can come over here, see what the recipe is worth. So this recipe at best is worth 250,000, right? We know the ingredients cost 400 plus this cost 450. So we're talking 250 plus 450 is 700,000. Now the question is, what does Basilisk A sale for? If we take a look at Basilisk Gaze, Accuracy Hold, uh, sometimes these can be a little hard to find. Basilisk. All right. Um, now, the thing about these sets is it doesn't matter what level they are because they're the same price. They work at low levels. They work at high levels. They don't change. So they tend to be the same price. Now, this is the recipe price. I'm looking for the item price. Personally, I find it a little bit easier just to pick a level. I'll pick 40, for example. Maybe I need to pick 50. Oh, no, there was 40. I think I saw 40. Uh, is, it a, is it a lower level item? Uh, here we go. Basilisk change. Uh, gaze chance for this type of stuff. So we're looking for accuracy and hold. These are the recipes, but here is the here's the item itself. And you can see that the item itself goes for one to two million. One to two million. So if I invest the the four hundred actually yeah, if I spend four hundred and fifty and I'm giving up 250,000 opportunity costs. That's 700,000 I mentioned before. Um, I could get set, you know, I could I could get that now, that 450 now, or I can create the item and and make probably 1.5 million easily, maybe 2 million. I'm not going to put it in for 1 million. So there's only 28 for sale. There's 285 bidding. This will probably move at a decent pace. So I'm going to go ahead and, and create this guy. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Now I could re-roll this and try to get something better, but I think that's a pretty good price and, and I, I think I can just stop there. Go ahead and buy this guy, grab it, create it, pop it on the auction house, just double check the pricing once again. I already know what it is because we just looked at it like two seconds ago and it does not want to come up, does it? Sometimes you have to hit like find a couple of times. There we go. So I'm going to put it up at 1.5 million and get something between 1 million. I might get to 2 million. I won't get less than 1.5 minus auction house fees. And we'll go ahead and we'll sell that. The one thing I have for failed to mention, you do got auction house fees of 10%. So that does come out of the money that you make. But that's kind of an overview. Once you get used to doing this, you do this quicker. And remember, you can always get more recipes by buying them off the auction house if you want. That's always a way to get more recipes if you want to just keep playing this game. Sometimes when I'm having a you know slow moment, I'll go and I'll just I'm waiting for other people. I'll just open up the auction house and and start cranking this stuff out. If you have an extra 10 million influence lying around, which later on you'll have money come out of your armpits. I I've got characters with 100 million and more from just doing this uh, before they even hit 30. Uh, you can buy for 10 million a portable auction house table. I mean, I'm sorry, a portable crafting table from the pay to win vendor. And then you can craft wherever you're at and you don't have to come back to Steel City. But that's that's how this stuff works, boys and girls. I I hope you had a good time with this. Uh, again, if you, if you like what you see here, if you want more hot tips, hit me up on Discord. I'm at JC Servant. I'm on the Reunion server. Uh, on Homecoming, I'm at Wildlight. So you can friend me on there. And come join our really awesome group that we have in Reunion because we're running story arcs and missions pretty much daily. We'd love to have you as part of us. Come by and say hi. Or leave comments on the videos below. Uh, I'll be doing another video here shortly about Ouroboros and story arc missions and how you can get the merit you need to do this kind of stuff and make a lot of money uh, once you get past your 20. So or 15, actually. So we'll see you next time.